What's up, everybody? It's your girl Z coming at you with a little something that's on my mind. Um, ooh, I'm so close. Yeah, I know it's been a while since I posted. And I keep saying that every time I post, I'm like, I know it's been a while since I posted. But um, I've been in the process of, because you know I like to do my Onyx box reveals. And I didn't do one this month because I discontinued Onyx because I thought there was, come on, person. I thought there was um, something else that I wanted to do. But, or like a different subscription box, which is part of um, why I am on here today. Because I don't know. Um, I, I, I really thought I was going to get the curly box, but it says out of stock for a subscription. So I'm like, I'm not going to buy just one month. I want to get it every month. So with this saying out of, out of stock for subscriptions, I'm like, okay, so do I just go back to the Onyx box? Or do you guys know something different that I can um, possibly get? Because I like doing the the, the, the subscription box reveals um there's so many fun subscription boxes out there i've been like um looking online and, and i'm the type of person i'm gonna be honest with you i hate to shop because when i get overwhelmed i'll just leave a store and i'll end up leaving with nothing and um that's the way i was online when i was looking through the subscription boxes there were so many different ones that i liked because not everything I like necessarily deals with just, I know this is going to be crazy, and I look crazy right now, but hair and makeup is not the only thing I like, y'all. Like, there are subscription boxes out there. I, I will say this. I'm absolutely not going to get anything that's food-related. No food, no candy. I'm good on that. But, um, goodness. I do want to get a new subscription box of some sort. If I end up getting, can uh, not candy, um, makeup and hair care again, that's cool. But I was really, really considering getting something new. Like, um, there are fragrance, fragrance, fragrance boxes. I think my sister a long time ago said something with a bird, some kind of bird box. <laughs> Uh, for scents, different scents. Um, clothing boxes. Everybody knows I love my WWE and there's a wrestling subscription box. Um, there's geek boxes and nerd boxes and I'm both of those. So, I mean, I'm, I don't really know what to get. I'm so confused. So, help me out, y'all. Tell me what's good out there that I should get so I can go ahead and subscribe to it because I want to start... I don't know, maybe I'll do about... I'll start with one and maybe add another one later and add another one after that or something like that. But, um, I don't know. Give me just a second and I'll start talking about what I'm on here for. Put my sleep in. I don't know why I drive, see? And I'm so hungry and I don't know what I want to eat. All right, so I'm on here because... I haven't spoke about wrestling in a while simply because um, I really had an idea of what I wanted to do when it came to wrestling. Like, really had a, a, a really cool concept and I realized it wouldn't work without me getting, um, oh, I made it worse, without getting, um, strikes from WWE and I don't want any copyright strikes. I already got one from them from uh, the reaction I did. So uh, I kind of I kind of got mad y'all. I was pretty bitter and I was like well I guess you can say I felt a little defeated because I really had this really really cool concept and it's just not going to work. So um, I guess I'll just, I, I, I'm not, I thought about it. I just started that sentence over only 20 times, but I thought about it and I was like, you know, me, 
uh, just speaking my mind is what I originally thought about doing. So I'll just stick to my original concept and not be mad about it. So boom, we're back here. And just because I haven't been on YouTube talking about my WWE does not mean I'm not caught up or I haven't been watching. Trust me, I'm so on it. And there's so many things. I'm pretty mad at myself for not doing my videos because I have been missing out on a lot of thoughts. Trust me, I have had so many freaking thoughts. <sighs> First off, let me just say this. TLC last week was by far... This is just my opinion. Now, if y'all disagree, that's y'all opinion too. But TLC was by far the worst pay-per-view of the year. Like, there was only one TLC match. Like, real TLC match. Um, everything just... It, I'm sorry. It just seemed r ridiculous. We had an introduction of putting... Asuka onto the brand and a goodbye to Mickey James. Um, both of them were cool, but not pay per view worthy. Um, a tag team cruiserweight match and a regular cruiserweight match. Well, I guess it was for the belt. But once again to me neither one were pay-per-view worthy and I get it they're trying to really really push their cruiser weight they're trying to make cruiser weight probably more relevant than it's ever been because cruiser weight has always been kind of like that joke belt you know if you think about the previous winners of um the cruiser weight belt it wasn't it wasn't really anything to take too serious so I get it. They're trying to make it relevant. They're trying to say, hey, cruiserweights are by far the most agile, the most action-packed wrestlers that we have. Yes, they are. Um, but when things come off forced, it ends up not coming off as well. And nothing against the cruiser weights the cruiser weights are awesome they are action packed they do keep you entertained but there's there hasn't been anything yet to me that's made me be like oh, i can't wait to see uh enzo or you know i just it hasn't happened you know they they're they're doing the whole i don't know like neville leaving and eh, i don't know it just isn't really doing anything for me and what do they plan on doing with all the May Young girls? Has anybody heard? Mm hmm. All right. So then there is. Uh, it's been so much I haven't talked to y'all about that. My mind is all over the place. I do want to state this, and I think I was going to try and say this for the end, but it's so like right there, and I'm pretty excited about it. But. With um, Bray Wyatt putting his sister on the forefront, wouldn't it be awesome if they actually did introduce uh, his sister like in a physical, not through him, and it was like the return of Paige? Can't you imagine Paige playing the role of Sister Abigail? I mean... <laughs> she's already a, a, a dark being you know what I'm saying and yeah she has her she had her storyline going but I mean I think it would be pretty cool to bring her back as Sister Abigail in the physical I don't know just a thought um and why hasn't Nia Jax gotten the belt yet I mean I get it. Alexa Bliss is, is the eye candy of of this season. But I thought the, the, the Divas were trying to shy away from the, 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 the Divas being about 
eye candy. We know sex sells, and they were the sex part of wrestling for the longest time, but they were they were doing their wrestling thing, and I know I was, and it sounded like a lot of the rest of the universe was. We were really enjoying the divas actually doing their shit and not just um, being there for, for your eye, for your pleasure. Not to say that you should not be sexy and wrestle. I mean, the, they're all sexy. That's a given. That's That's what it is. But... I don't know. I just feel like Nia Jax should really, 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 really have that belt by now. I don't know. It just seems like a bunch of crap to me. For them to keep using these women that are forceful, hard-hitting wrestlers and having them play more like bodyguards to other female wrestlers, like Tamina and um, Lana... The Nia Jax and Alexa Bliss. <clears throat> oh, wait. What's today? Oh, last night was Total Divas. Ah! <laughs> my ass needs to get on. Oh, my God. I can't wait to get home. I'm going to watch it. But, um, dang. All right. Anyways. So, that's that. What was I going to say next? I don't even know what I was going to say next. Um... Oh, since this has happened since the last time I have made a video, awesome with the shield reuniting. Not so awesome that Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens have reunited. Um, it's 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 definitely made Sami Zayn extra happy because he's getting his TV time, but it's not helping KO. All it's doing is setting up another storyline for KO to stab Sami Zayn in the back again. How do you get that much? How do you get that close after all the that y'all been through? How? I mean, Sami is a straight fool. Let me quote the great George Bush Jr. Fool me once. Shame on me. Nope. Sorry. (laughs) I'm really sounding like him. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me again. Shame on... Uh, Fool me once you never fool me again. That's the way I'd be if I was Sami Zayn. But nah. This... Idiot. I, I don't know. Y'all know how I feel about Sami Zayn. I can't stand him. I can't stand him. And my opinion, y'all. So all y'all people that love Sami Zayn. Okay. And I'm pretty sure your reason is valid. I don't. So that's just that. Um, I'm actually <laughs> waiting to see if Chris Jericho is going to jump up in this mix at some point. <laughs> that would be pretty dang cool. Then, I'm saying then because I'm acting like I'm, I have something, but I don't. Um, there's so much that's happened since the last time I talked about anything WWE. But right now, those are the top things that are on my mind. Oh, sorry. One more thing. During the May Young Classic, there was a female referee. And if y'all go back a couple of videos, I said I wanted to be a female referee before this even. Why didn't they call me? Why didn't y'all petition for me? Where's the love? I'm depressed. Y'all played me. That's y'all fault. I don't know how. I just had to place the blame on somebody. <laughs> but no. It was really cool to see a female ref. I really wish it would have been me. But I don't know how I thought that was going to happen. 
Hey, anything can happen now. Anything can happen. So it's not like it's impossible, but all right. But on that note, y'all, I am out of here. Just waste a little couple, little couple things, little couple things that's been on my mind. I got to run a couple more errands and get my butt back home. Um, I'm glad to be back. And I hope you guys are glad to see me back. And yes, I'm back. Back to back. Yes, y'all, make sure y'all check out ACL7. He's been kicking out some awesome content lately. He is a gamer. So all you gamers, go check him out. He is hilariously factual. He will spit you some straight facts while have your butt laughing. And I really, really think you should check them out. So, on that note, I am out of here. Deuces. Where am I going? Where are you going? <laughs>